So we've built out our repository. We've built out our services. Now what we need to do is we need to build out our controllers. And if you remember, our controllers control our URL endpoints and what HTTP method we can receive from these endpoints. A get request, which we are going to receive from our controller is an HTTP method. And this is very important because these can come in many different forms. They can come in a get request. They could come in a post. Maybe we're, we are creating data, but it's important to kind of think ahead which type of method that you are going to use because it will help you figure out what do you actually need back from your controller. And in this case, we're going to build a controller that's going to control all the running clubs from our running repository. So we're gonna hit the controller. It's gonna go through here. It's gonna go through services. It's gonna go through repository. Then it's going to return our data back to our controllers, go back to the user and congratulations, you've officially become a web developer. Not yet, but eventually after we build this whole entire app, you can finally say that you're a web developer. Okay, so we are in IntelliJ right now. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to create our own folder to house all of our controllers. So first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in here, create a new package. It's a fancy word for a folder and we will create it within our .com file. Next thing that we want to do is we need to create the actual class that's going to uh, be the controller. So we're gonna go in here and we're just gonna call this the club controller because this is gonna control all of our running club. Okay, so we've already built out our service and we need to go up here and make sure that we have this controller attribute because that's going to give us a lot of the power of Spring Web. Then what we want to do here is we want to bring in our club service. So we've provided all of this abstraction so that we don't need to put all of this service and repository code inside of our controller because you don't want to house all of the code inside of your controller because that is a no-no. So that's kind of the whole entire reason we made the service in the repository. So next is we're going to have a constructor that's going to house this service. So I'm gonna go right click I'm gonna generate and I'm going to generate this constructor. So we don't have to have the auto wire auto wired here, but I like to uh, put it anyway. The club service, we need to put a annotation above the service. So the way that we do that is we go into club service and we go up here and we annotate this with a service. And if you don't do that, that red line will stay there inside of our control. That was a mistake on my part. I apologize. Moving along. So next thing that we're going to need to do is we need to make a git mapping. And this git mapping is going to have a URL of club. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into here. We're we're gonna go public string, we're gonna go clubs. I'm gonna call this list clubs. I think that's a little bit more explicit. It's going to pass in a model. First, we need to make sure we're getting back our clubs from the database. So we're gonna go here. So we're getting clubs back and this is going to be club service dot find all clubs and that should be good to go. Alt enter and bring this part in right here. So that looks good, alt enter and we've brought in everything. So the model is going to allow us to actually put stuff on the web page. So we've went and we've gotten data back from our database and the actual data is in our code, but how do we get the data out of the code that we want onto the actual web page? This is where this model comes in right here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to add attributes. We're going to add clubs of clubs so essentially what's going to happen is when this actually goes back from the database it's going to use this model thingy to actually inject it onto the web page and after that we are going to return a string of clubs list and you may be wondering, well, what is clubs list? What we have to do is we have to go inside of our resources. We have to go inside of our templates and we have to add the file name as it is in the string that we are returning back from the controller. So if we're returning clubs list, we need to create a clubs list.html file within our templates. And this is how we will actually return stuff back and place it on this web page. Next thing that you want to do is you want to download a bootstrap theme. I'm going to use this bootstrap template that I found online. It's 100% free. 
I'll leave a link down below, but feel free to use whichever type of bootstrap that you want. You can also just bring in the bootstrap CDN, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go ahead and click download. Then I'm going to open up IntelliJ and bring up the actual file that we just downloaded, which is going to look like this. It will have the start bootstrap theme and it will have all of these assets. And what you want to do is you want to open the folder that says static. And the way that I do that is I go here, I go open in Explorer. So go ahead and open this, go inside of it. And we're just going to take all those assets. Uh, we're going to take the assets and put them inside of the static folder. So what you want to do is you want to take these assets, you want to take the CSS, you want to take this JS, and you want to put it inside of the static file right here. And while we're at it, it's probably just a good idea to either put this file on your desktop or somewhere that's really handy because we're going to have to go into the portfolio overview and copy some code to actually work in our app. What we're going to do is we're just going to right click right here. I'm just going to take this whole entire thing right here from the body all the way down and I am going to just copy and paste it into the clubs list file that we just created just like this. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to boot this up and let's actually see if it's working. Okay, so our endpoint is working, but we're not displaying things like we should and we need to make this look better and we need to actually put data that we got back from the server onto this web page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of these divs and make it so that when we get our clubs back from the server, it will automatically iterate through them with a TH each. What exactly is a th each a th each is how you do for loops within this framework called time leaf time leaf time leaf however you want to pronounce it is going to allow us to have this syntax within the browser that looks a little something like this then when we want to iterate through this and display it here what we do is we go into here add an extra th to the source, put these brackets in here and get back our clubs from here so that we can actually iterate through it. Okay, so what's gonna happen is that you will see this cannot resolve and what we have going on is we haven't added actual time leaf to the top. So what you want to do is you want to go up here and add TH. And this is kind of verbose and a little redundant, I know, but uh, something that we have to do. And then we can we can automate this later. And then we'll have timeleaf.org. Go ahead here, close this, and then put this down at the bottom here. So go ahead, drag this down it will let me and I think it actually deleted that for some reason so we'll go here and then what you'll see is thyme leaf is actually in the browser we are also getting a telesense as well too and the last thing that I am going to do is add a th let's see text here and I'm going to say club dot title so let me see let me just go ahead and double check in here make sure that we have everything and I am going to go ahead and run this and I have a typo right here so gonna go ahead get rid of that and re let's go ahead and rerun it okay and if you look we have our actual photo url we have the running club and if you don't see anything in your browser i've already loaded up some data into my database but if you haven't done that already what you want to do is you want to go to database over here on the side you want to right click on the actual clubs table that you've made hopefully that you've made you want to go in here you want to hit this nice little plus button right here, then go through it and just fill out with some test data. So this one will say test content and this one will be created on. This one will be the photo URL. And I went and I went online and got a photo of just some random runner. You can feel free to put anything that you want to in there though. And I just went through and created my own actual fake record and copied this over as well too. And just go over here and do an updated on. We'll do a title and we'll just call this one Charlotte running club just like this and we'll add another one 
So we'll say downtown running club. Okay, and then what you want to do, make sure that you do this, you hit the submit and then it will actually do the query for you. So let's go ahead over here and, but anyway, that's going to be the video for today. We have successfully shown data onto our webpage. We are ready to move on to actually creating data on our webpage. Anyway, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.